Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So sit back and enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Shamanism and Voodoo The ancient Israelites adopted the ancient Canaanite culture. The Canaanites, the indigenous of the land of Canaan also known as Palestine, Israel, Jordan, and Syria. The ancient Canaanites in a religious ceremony wearing ritual masks A Canaanite slash Phoenician ritual mask. Gasolain refers to a culture and an archaeological stage dating to the middle and late Chalcolithic or Copper period in the southern Levant, 4400 to 3500 BC. It is located in the eastern Jordan Valley, near the northern edge of the Dead Sea, in modern Jordan. It was excavated in 1929 to 1938, and in 1959 to 1960 by the Jesuits. Basil Hennessy dug at this site in 1967 and in 1975 to 1977 in Stephen Bork in 1994 to 1999. A Gesulean subculture lived in underground dwellings or in trapezoidal houses of mud brick. Those were often built partially underground on top of collapsed underground dwellings and were covered with remarkable polychrome wall paintings. One of the most notable examples being the Gasolean Star. Tel Eilat El Gosul on the map of Jordan and the Gasolean Star. The Gasulians star on a wall. The Gasulians were Canaanites. This is a perfect example of a ancient Middle Eastern culture. The biblical Canaanites. Anthropologists rename these people Gasoleans. Israelites, Mexicans of the tribe of Issachar, their culture is Middle Eastern, even though. They are indigenous of the Western Hemisphere, the Americas. Hopi Native Americans, Israelites of the tribe of Gad, wearing ritual costumes similar to the Canaanites. Hopi Native Americans are from the Middle East.
Israelites from the tribe of Gad. Native American man, an Israelite of the tribe of Gad. Similar to the Canaanite culture and the land of Canaan because the Gadites, the Native Americans, are Israelites from the Near East. A Native American Israelite from the tribe of Gad. Native Americans who are Israelites from the tribe of Gad. This young man, name is Jackson. He was a runaway slave from Banton Rouge, Louisiana, 1863. I can understand why some people don't subscribe to the notion that the so-called African Americans and Native Americans could possibly be descended from the biblical Israelites that we heard about. Or read about our whole lives because of Eurocentric Renaissance art. Hollywood or social media erroneous depictions of Near Eastern and North African ancient peoples. Ancient Syrians. Dura Europus. The Temple of Baal. One typical reason is that many people believe there is a cultural and linguistic or language difference between the Hebrews and the black Americans and this is a picture of a woman of color Wearing a shield or star of David, Barbados, 1765. Natives of the Americas. There's no linguistic or language difference between the natives of the Americas and African Americans. They both spoke Hebrew. Ancient Mayan man wearing a shield of Star of David earring. Campeche, Mexico. Eight hundred ancient stones with Hebrew writings found in Puerto Rico. Do most people know the native of the Americas spoke 
and wrote Hebrew. Artifacts with Hebrew was found on the island of Puerto Rico. The first slaves in the Americas were not African. And the first Africans in the Americas were not slaves. Black sailors, soldiers, servants, and settlers arrived in the Americas in the 15th century. Along with the earliest Europeans, these first black colonists were from Spain rather than Africa and were known as Ladinos. And the first transatlantic slaves spoke a Creole language that contained Hebrew words as well as African words because they were Ladinos and they spoke Ladino. Juan Las Canarias or Juan from the Canary Islands was a black sailor who served on Columbus flagship, the Santa Maria, during the first transatlantic voyage in 1492. From the book, Fort Most, Colonial America's Black Fortress of Freedom. The first African Americans in the Americas spoke Ladino and they were called Ladinos. Judeo Spanish, Ladino language, Ladino, Judeo Spanish or Judeo Spanish, also known as Ladino. Judeo Spanish, Ladino was written in Hebrew letters. For example, the Atlantic slave trade, Dispora, has undoubtedly cultural ties to Africa in what is called African religious systems, such as Voodoo, Obia, Santeria, etc. African Dispora religions, also described as Afro American religions, are a number of related beliefs that developed in the Americas and various nations of the Caribbean, Latin America, and the Southern United States. And the Native Americans have creation stories and tribal traditions that could be placed under the umbrella term of shamanism. A shaman, it is believed, learns to control the passage of the soul out of and back into the body. According to South American tradition, the shaman not only controls the ecstasy of his or her own soul, but also is devoted to the knowledge and care of the souls of others. Britannica.com, Native American Religions, 2nd Ezra, chapter 13, verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, the king, who Salmanassar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carry them over the waters and so they came into another land but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen from the middle east and go forth into a further country where mankind where never mankind dwelt the americas that they might there keep their statutes the laws and commandments, the Torah, which they never kept in their own land because they were following voodoo and shamanistic practices.
when we show that the ancient Israelites, Babylonians, Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans practiced what we call voodoo and shamanism, today you might change your perspective, shamanism and totemism in early Israel. Robert D. Miller II, the Catholic University of America, Washington, D.C. This essay examines the archaeology of religion for early Iron Age Israel. The anthropological categories of shamanism and totemism provides a framework for best explaining the archaeological data for this society. The highlands of Palestine from 1200 to 1000 BC, around the time of the judges with Samson to Solomon, and for understanding the ritual and religious life of this culture. And discover that there is a historical basis for identifying the descendants of the transatlantic slave trade and the Native Americans with the biblical Israelites. Shamanistic features in the Old Testament, Arvid Kepelrod. The question whether there are shamanistic features in the Old Testament will receive different answers according to the definition of the term shamanism. There is no reason to doubt that shamanistic practice was found in Canaan in the time of King Saul. This practice went far back in time and was found in Canaan before the invasion of the Israelites. The cult of the dead, which the archaeological diggings in Ras Shamra in Syria have revealed, existed also in Canaan. It was accepted by the Israelites, a fact which is underlined by the way in which the prohibition against all kinds of sorcery and soothsaying is repeated in the Old Testament. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 30 Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 31. Shamanism and voodoo. The Israelites adopted Canaanite culture.